All right, here we go. What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Kapow, baby! Kapow! Um, yeah, kapow! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix some color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this little baby right here. All right, I'm gonna mix this little baby. You can't see it because I got, I got the camera pointing at another direction, but uh, in one direction, yeah, one direction. <laughs> But I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you guys right now what's up, okay? How the cookie crumbles around town. Here we go. I'm going to mix a little bit of color. I'm mixing. You guys can't see it, but I can. And I'm going to show you right now uh, the painting. We're going to get started with the painting. Uh, this is going to be one of those one of those sessions that you can just relax, kick back, get your favorite beverage. And and let's go, baby. Let's go. Mucho bueno. Okay, mucho bueno. It's going to be one of those mucho bueno sessions. So, let's do this. All right. It's a little dark, man. It's a little dark all up in here. Maybe I need to. I must, I must. I must get my lights just a little bit closer to me. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get started. I'm gonna get started with one of my canvases. Let me get it ready. Brush, 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 brush. All right, all right, compadres, let's do this. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna, oh my God, I was almost missing one super awesome element, which is Mars. Oh no, this is lamp black, this is not Mars. I have lamp black. All right, there we go. I gotta clean my brush, man. Boom, all right. All right, beautiful people of the Instas. Let's see if you're ready for this. Pow, pow, baby, are you ready for this? Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, check it out. This is gonna be a little giraffe, okay? We're gonna start out with a little giraffe. Why? Because I can, because I want to, because and you can and you want to. If you want to, you can. Okay, so here we go. Very simple. There's gotta, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a sim, uh, an element of simplicity in 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 the painting. Uh, if there not, if there isn't an element of simplicity, uh, you may be missing the whole thing. Okay, so you, you want an element of simplicity. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, mucho bueno. Mucho bueno, baby. If you guys have any questions, I'm right behind the phone. That's why people are like, oh my God, how can you read the comments and paint all at the same time? Because it's magic. It's magical that way. All right, so here we go. Look, boom, boom. Oh, uno giraffe. Mucho bueno, baby. All right, here. Look, check it out. Oh, there it is. Look at that. There it is. Simplicity, baby. If I had a religion, I'd join the, the Church of Simplicity. <laughs> the Church of Simplicity, baby. Everybody's trying to join something, right? Like, like I'm going to join something. I don't know. You know which cat I like? I like this Joel Osteen cat. I, I don't buy everything he says, right? I'm not... First of all, I'm not religious. So I don't... Or, or, or spiritual like that. Like, I, I'm just not... I'm a very flawed human being, but uh, but I like his message. Some of some of it, not all of it. I don't, I, I, I don't usually buy everyone's message unless it's like I don't know, unless it's like one of those very rare souls in the world, right? And I'm like, okay, let's pay attention to what this cat has to say because you don't see them coming every day, right? But uh, but I, I like some of his stuff, man. Like the way he's, he's like he's like 
and be blessed. And I'm like, yeah. You know, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm like, he pumps me up sometimes. You know, he's like, he's like, it's not a setback, it's a set up. And I'm like, yeah, Joel, tell it like it is. <laughs> I like the cat. He's like a, he's like a. He's like a Christian Tony Robbins, something like that, you know? I'm like, yeah, you got it. That's what I'm talking about, Joel. I'm not going through a setback. I'm throwing, I'm going through a set up. I don't know, it makes me feel good. Some people just have that, they have that, they have the power. You know, some people just do. He's one of them. He's got that power. It reminds me of that movie. Um, what's that movie called? Uh, Bruce Almighty. When he's like, got the power. Dude, that was a great movie. Bruce Almighty. Man, like so many life lessons in that. You know, you know, like movies like that, like really, I really like them. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The guy, the guy's a little loony, but who isn't? Who isn't, you know? It just is. I like him. I like that cat. He's an artist, too, you know? Little Bush is an artist, too. He's like a portrait painter and whatnot. That little Bush. The portrait painter. He's a good portrait painter, too. Yeah. He's into that. So here we go. Look, check it out. Look at that. Ooh, ho, ho. mucho bueno. Let's 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 do those long eyelashes that giraffes have. You know, at least that's that's what they do in like cartoons and whatnot. Oh, there we go. And so the the brushwork really is the magic. Okay. Uh, that's why I, I tell people, you know, like st stick to what you know. My thing is brushwork. Like, don't, don't let my thing, uh, my je ne sais quoi, fool you. Okay, don't let it fool you. I'm, I'm, I'm great because I embrace who I am, and so are you. If you embrace who you are, you just gotta embrace who you are. Like, like I'm brushwork. I'm all brushwork, thickness of paint, right? And when it comes to oil, and looseness. Brush, thickness, and looseness, and baby, I'm Picasso, right? I, I, I can't try to be like the realist painter or the hyper-realist painter. That, that's not me. So, so I think that the quicker you embrace your strengths, the better you're going to do. I think you just, you just got to, you know, you got to really embrace those, those strengths, baby. Just do it. Just embrace your strengths and you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right to mundo. Don't try to be someone else. It doesn't pay. It definitely doesn't pay the bills uh, to be someone else. Uh, you can learn from someone else, but you know, you can't, you just can't be someone else. It's, as much as I want to, you know, I'm like, man, I want to be this guy. I can't. No way. It is impossible. Look at this. And another thing also that I want to share with you guys, uh, there is no, there is no, there, there are no shortcuts, okay? So it, there are no shortcuts when it comes to painting. Uh, me painting loose and people say that I paint fast. There was not a shortcut to this place. Don't, don't, don't let, don't let me fool you. It was not a shortcut. It was a, a very long uh, at times very painful way to get here okay I, 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 I ruined a lot of paintings I still do I love ruining paintings because it means that I, I'm still in the game right if I'm not ruining a painting I'm not in the game anymore so, so I, I ruined a lot of paintings uh, a lot of the paintings that I, that I feel like I ruined other people think that they're my best work so I let them think that even though secretly 
I'm like, oh my god, I, I can't believe I don't like that painting. And because the reason why, guys, is because your mind, as I've, as I've said before so many times, your mind is going to make you believe that you're, that you're just no, no bueno. That your that your ish is just no bueno, and you should just stop and and go get yourself a real career, like your spouse has been telling you, or your mommy has been telling you. You know, stop playing with that. Go get yourself a real career, and that's what your mind. That's what literally. That's what your mind is after. Is is, is after getting you in a comfort in a comfort place, right? Your mind is trying to make you comfortable, and it's trying to make you understand that you're just no good. Because if it does that, if your mind tells you that you're no good, uh, it's able to, to, to put you in a comfortable place. And, and comfort is where you feel good, baby. It's where you feel good. Mucho bueno in comfort. I'm going to go after another painting because I'm feeling lucky AF. Okay? Feeling super lucky. I got this shit. <laughs> I got this, okay? Mucho bueno. All right, let's go after the next one. Uh, Bulls Art Studio says, yeah, the struggle is real. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. You know, especially if you're, uh, especially if you are someone who's been doing it for a while, you know, but but the, the struggle is mental, okay? I, I, I want to make this clear. The, the struggle, is real because it's mental. It's really not difficult. Okay, I just want to say that it's really not difficult. If you if you just remove the mental aspect of, of creating artwork, you're going to soar. You're going to soar like an eagle if you just remove that. And and after oftentimes we can't remove that, and that's the problem, right? We can't remove the mental stuff. The mental stuff, what I'm, what I'm referring to as the mental stuff, is, is all, the, all the BS. You know, all the stuff that, that, oh my God, I'm not really that good. I thought it was better, but I'm really not that good. And, and on and on, all, all that BS. If you just remove that, then you really don't have a struggle. What you have, you have challenges. That's different. I know, I know, I know, I know this is very uh, cliche. But it's true. You have, you have challenges. It's a game, right? How many paintings can I sell? How, how many galleries can I get into? Uh, how many websites can I open and sell my work? You know, how many people can I reach? How many, how many likes can I give on, on Instagram? You know, and on and on and on and on. How, 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 how much can I do? It becomes a game. It becomes a, that, that's, not, that's not a struggle. That's, that's part of the game. That, that's, it's just the way it is. It's just a game. The struggle comes from, oh my God, I don't have enough time. You know, oh my God. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't make it as an artist. Well, may, maybe not in the beginning, but you know, I, I, I wasn't always making a full time living as an artist. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was a painter for like 15 years and didn't make, didn't make shit selling anything. And so, it wasn't until I started really looking at uh, the paradigms, right? What, what's, what's really stopping me? And it was never something outside. It was always, it was always my mind. It was always something like, like I need to paint large, you know. My work needs to be super important, or, or uh, it was always some sort of mind f, you know, some sort of thing that just kept me thinking that I needed to be something else, you know. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Cats Eye Design says your lines are amazing. Thank you, I appreciate that. They, they kind of are, huh? Yeah. Um, and so it was always something else. It was it was never really the, the 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 struggle itself. It was it was something else, you know. And when I started learning how to deal with that, I started I started understanding that my mind. I know it sounds cliche. I know everybody says it. You know, you go on YouTube and, and some asshole's gonna be telling you about. You know, you're just stopping yourself. But you know what, guys? Like this to me, these are not empty words. To me, this is the reality. Like complaining, it's. It's the number one, number uno, numero uno way that you're not going to get anything done. That's like number one. And, and I developed a way to complain that if there was like, if there was a, a if there was a sport on complaining, I, I, I would have been Michael Jordan. <laughs> 
It's so true. It's so true. I'm not even kidding. Like, I am the biggest complainer in the world. And I just made a video on YouTube where I was like, dude, why do we complain so much? And I'm not saying other people. I'm just saying, like, just people in general. And, 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 and that's me, baby. Like, like I, if, I feel like I invented complaining. You know? Thank you so much, uh, Chris. Chris Oliver Art. Shout out to Chris Oliver. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I think I invented complaining. I'm like, dude, what can I complain about this situation right now? That was, I mean, that's literally been my life. You know, what can I complain about this situation? What, there has to be something that I can complain about so that I feel like I can't do the things that I want to do. There has to be something. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There has to be something. And, and, and the reality, guys, is that there, there's never anything. You know, there, there's never anything. How's it going, Norma? Norma Wilson Art. Good to see you here. There's never anything you need to complain about. And, and, uh, but, but it's, it's such an easy gig, man, to complain. I love that. You know, it's so simple. All you got to do is, is be like, be like, oh my God, that dude has a lot of followers and I don't on Instagram and his work is like shitty. You know, what am I doing wrong? Life is really, you know, right. Life is unfair. Or, or, or that person over there is, is showing a lot of skin on Instagram. And, and, and like, is that what the world has come to? And people don't pay attention to my work. Oh, my God. You know, like, it's, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. No, actually, it's not unfair. I, 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 actually, it's not. The world, is, the world is not unfair. The world is, the world is very interesting. It's a very interesting place. Uh, it looks unfair from a distance. From the macro, but if you if you get if you get into the micro and you start looking at things, you realize that it's not that unfair. That people value entertainment much more than maybe I don't know, maybe like watching you paint or watching me paint. Right? People just do. It's just it's just it's just the way it is. It's the way we're wired. You know that doesn't make it unfair. That just means that you know like like people want to buy lemonades and you're trying to sell them. Uh, I don't know, glasses of milk in the middle of summer. And, and, and you're, if you're like me, right? Like you're trying to sell them glasses of milk and they're like, uh, no, I want a lemonade and I want it with lots of ice and super sugary. And you're like, no, no, no. Let me give you some goat's milk. It's so much better, you know, or some soy milk. And, and if you don't find the people that want the soy milk and you keep, trying to give people that want uh, lemonade soy milk too you're gonna lose it's just the way it is you know and, and it looks so unfair and it looks so unfair it just it just does I, I know because I, I My little my little puppy here like he's like hey all right so yeah guys as I was telling you the the, the world is really not not unfair I don't I don't think it is it, it feels that way and certainly certainly we're complaining it definitely definitely feels super unfair but I, I, I promise you it's not unfair it just isn't And, uh, yeah, look, the way that I'm painting this, for those of you who are like, dude, I don't want to hear about your, your insights. I want to see the painting. I'm sorry. Too bad. Mucho malo. <laughs> this is, this is my channel and I get to, I get to sell soy milk instead of giving people lemonade. I'm always making that mistake. People want to like, people want to ask me about paintings and I'm like, here, let me tell you about what I learned today. <laughs> They're like, I don't care about what you learned today. I want to know how you're mixing that paint. 
<laughs> it's so true though. It's so true. I, I, I'm so guilty of that. I'm like, I'm like, here, uh, let me tell you about my bullshit problems. <laughs> and then people are like, no, dude, I just, I just want to see the way you mix things. <laughs> you guys if you guys have any questions i'd i'd love to uh i'd love to address them uh those of you who don't know um i i've been a i've been a full-time artist for for almost a decade now and it hasn't been until the last four years that i actually started uh you know just trying to trying to pass a little bit of what i know with other artists and and not even four years oh my god it's been less than that it's been like two years or maybe three at most and and just kind of like help other artists you know if, if, with with whatever i can and if and if if what i have to offer means anything to them right because not everybody is into the same thing like some people just you know they, they want to paint other people want to monetize sell their paintings other people want to they just man other people just want to be free they, they don't care about getting paid or 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 showing in a studio or a gallery or a museum or whatever right they just want to paint and man more power right whatever it is it doesn't matter like like if it's your thing it's your thing baby don't let anyone stop you especially especially this mexican baby don't let this mexican stop you i go for it you know uh, but but if your thing is like dude i want to be able to find out how to sell my artwork you know, I want to sell. I want, I want to sell my artwork. I know a thing or two about that, or how to market it, or, or you know, whatever, right? Or maybe I'm feeling stuck. I can help you with that. I can unstuck you. I don't know if I can unstuck you, but I can definitely show you the way. Show you the way. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Kate says, uh, Kate, cat, cat, cats say this. Cats, hi. Is it cats? Is it cats? I, I think I'm butchering your name. Cats, hi. This sign uh, says, uh, enjoying. I keep on shutting myself off. Uh, I don't get it. Please, please open, open up a little bit about uh, on that. Please, uh, uh, I want to explore that. What, what, what does that mean? Shutting yourself off, like, like, uh, like you go for it and then you kind of stop. Is that is that what you're talking about? Like you're you're catching momentum and then you're like nah, or maybe you're going for it and not catching momentum and then you and then you say uh, no, this is not for me or or this is too hard or maybe you sabotage yourself. I'd like to know more about that because another thing that I've been in my life, I've been a master master sabotage ash er. If that's if that's a word, I invented that word too. Man, I've been a master at the self sabotage game, like like. Uh, like if you find self sabotage in the dictionary, it's probably gonna have my picture of me with a painting next to me. <laughs> I've been so good at that, you know. I'm like, I'm like, uh, this thing is working. Here, let's fuck it up. <laughs> I've done that in my career so many times, or or people are like, oh my god, I invite you to one of my galleries. You know, some some gallery owner will invite me. And, and I've done it in the past so so much where I'm like, I don't have time. Oh, my God. I'm so, you know, like, like I'm so busy. What the hell do they want? And it's like, dude, I'm just, I'm just trying to be friendly and invite you to my gallery. And I'm like, oh. And I, 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 I used to. I, I don't do it anymore, right? Because I'm, like, super pro now and shit. But I used to, like, sabotage myself so good. And so when I'm, when I'm coaching artists, it's, it's, I can smell it. You know, I can smell it when artists sabotage. When they're like, when they're like, this looks like it's working. Let's fuck it up. <laughs> I I think it comes from from many many places. If that's the thing, I don't know if that's your thing, but that that was my thing. And and the main one, the main place that it comes from, is just not feeling good enough. You know, it comes from just not feeling good enough. It comes from. From a feeling of, you know what, I, I need to open my, my, hold on, I need to open the door so that my dog can go and have fun outside, because I think he wants to go park. You go do it, boy. Don't let me stop you. Get him. Get him, boy. You go do it. And uh, let me get back to what I was saying here. Yeah, and, and I think that's, that the self-sabotage thing, I, I don't know, I'm not a therapist, man. No. 
I'm just, I'm just telling you my, 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 not even my theory, my experience. Okay, I don't even have a theory on it. I have an experience, a direct experience. I don't know if it's true or not, by the way. So don't, 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 uh, don't, don't buy the whole thing if you're if you're buying it. Okay, please, don't buy the whole thing, but uh, or or any of it uh, if you don't want to. But here's his. This has been my experience. The idea of sabotage has come from me, uh, from my, has come has come through my to my life from feeling deep levels of just not. I'm gonna Maurice appear the shit out of this. Just not feeling good enough, you know. Just not feeling like I'm worth it. Like something has got to be wrong. That's what I used to think all the time. Something has got to be wrong. You know, life cannot be all that good to this Mexican. Something has to be wrong. I don't know. I did something wrong my past life or, or in this life. I, something has to be wrong. So when things started looking good, I would find a way to shut it down and be like, nope, nope, it's going too well. I have no idea what's going on. It's too well. And if this is going too well, then there has to be a problem because I've never seen too well. I've only seen problems, suffering, and challenges, and I've never seen it this well. So, so if it's not this good, something's wrong with it. And when things started going well also, I would find, if I couldn't find the problem, I would create one. Oh man, I was so good at doing that. Just generate a problem, you know? Something like, uh, I forgot how to paint. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever gone through that one. People call it artist block. But I literally would forget how to paint. Like, it was like I was an amateur all over again, and I did not know how to paint. This used to happen to me when things were going really well. Like, literally, one month, I, 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 like I went through the roof, and I started making what I used to make in a year, in one month, right? And my sales went through the roof, and like everything was great, and then all of a sudden, I got a cold, right? I had a bad cold, and 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 I forgot how to paint. <laughs> Talk about sabotage, baby. Sabotage. <laughs> and then I spent, I spent my entire career finding out what it was, right? Like trying to find out what it was. What's stopping me? Something is holding me back, right? And and so. I went through it, and I went through it, and, and after, after much seeking, as the good old book says, you know, who seeks finds, or some variation of that, don't take it barbatim, please, uh, after much seeking, I finally came to realize that I just didn't want to do the work. I was afraid of the work, for many reasons, right? But I was afraid of the work. If you notice something, is very obvious, almost always, it's very obvious. Yes, I believe that people don't feel good about themselves and all that good stuff, but what I have come to understand most is that people don't want to do the work. We just don't. We don't want to do the work. There's something in us, maybe society, family, or whatever, that told us that we don't have to do that much work. As a matter of fact, when things are going well, I don't know if you have family members or friends next to you, around you. Maybe the person you're sleeping with is telling you this kind of BS. You know, you shouldn't be working that hard. You know, real entrepreneurs have employees. You're doing everything yourself. Uh, you know, you know they're, they're telling you all kinds of stuff that they have no idea about. You know? And, and so... And so you go through life trying to match these ideas that are extremely ridiculous and so difficult to match. And so, and so when things are going well, you're afraid of what that's going to look like. Or, or also, when things are going well, not only you're afraid of, that, of what that's going to look like, you're afraid of losing the little bit that you've gained. You know, the little... The little accolades or whatever that you've gained you're afraid of losing that and that is a that's like a, a super dream killer like if you want to kill a dream go after that one <laughs> thank you so much love love seeing how you paint i can see you've done the work 
uh, yeah, yeah, totally. I, I definitely done the work, uh, and so I, I just, you know, I just want to remind people out there that you're not you're not alone. If if, if you feel like like things are difficult, and and maybe you sabotage some of your career, or or you can't find the way out, I promise you, it's not you, baby. It's not you, and it's not, and it's nobody else either. Okay, so so this is very important to understand. It's not you, and it's nobody else. Okay, so I don't want people to think, well, it's not me. I gotta blame someone. No, it's it, you don't have to blame anything or anyone. This is this is human nature. We are conditioned to be soft. We just are. We're conditioned to be soft. We're conditioned to be comfortable. It, it, it's, it's just the way human beings have survived so much. Human beings find comfort to survive. You know, since the beginning of time, cavemen, or whatever you believe in, <laughs> cavemen were looking for, for um, how, to, how to stay safe. You know, they didn't want the saber to tiger to, 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 to chop them into pieces. Right? So, so they look for safety. What is safety? A nice cave, maybe some fire in there, maybe some food in there, right? A nice, a nice warm cave, uh, you know, away from the fire. I mean, from the fire, away from the rain, from the cold, right? Uh, look at, look at when, when, when civilizations th thrive. What do they do? They create safety, right? They create safety, and once they create safety, and anyone who loves a little bit of of history would probably agree with this. As soon as they create safety. They get soft. They start getting soft. And that's when civilization starts going. Adios. It's too safe. Everybody has a latte. Everybody has a smartphone. It's too safe. It's, it's, it's nice. It's beyond nice. It's ridiculously nice. All right? Everyone has credit. Everyone has a car. Everyone has a latte. Everyone has a phone. It's good. Life is good. And, and so as a society, we're used, to, we're used to letting our guard down when things are safe. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't strive for safety uh but it's just it's i think it's just human human nature you know where we're, if if it's safe you're not going to want to try it. it's cool right and 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 uh I, I i i've experienced this myself when things go well and it's safe right when it feels safe uh you start getting a little bit lazy you start getting a little bit mm, you know do i really need to do this things are safe right now uh, and I, I see a lot of that when I when I talk to artists, uh, not every artist, but a lot of artists. When I talk to them, uh, they're looking for the safety, right? Uh, some sort of safe thing. For example, if I talk about, hey, I'm going to show you how I sell paintings on eBay, and then I tell them the shitload of work they have to do, they're like, oh man, I thought you were going to tell me like, like I don't know, a a, a button I was going to press. <laughs> Or, you know, hey, what's the strategy here? The strategy is work, baby. It's a lot of work. That's the strategy. And, and, so, and so the, 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 the idea is that something else is going to, uh, you know, make it happen, right? This is why we sell in, 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 in the world, we sell diet pills and, and, you know, all these other things because, because we don't want to put in the work. Fuck the work. You know, who wants to put in the work? Nobody. I don't want to put in the work. I'm not even going to talk about anyone else. I don't want to put in the work. Right? Nobody does. And, and so... And so... I believe that this is the reason. This is the main reason. Because putting in the work is... is uh, feels, feels unsafe. Right? It, because... Why does it feel unsafe? Because it's not... It's not comfortable, and anything that is not comfortable must not be safe, according to our reptilian, <laughs> our reptilian brain. <laughs> if it's uncomfortable, it must not be safe, right? Back in the day, if you were hunting, you probably people that were hunting were probably dying, right? Before we were gatherers, when our brains developed as as, as hunters, probably the hunters died a lot. You know, they probably died a lot, right? They're like, I'm gonna go hunt, babe. I'll be back. I'm gonna go get a saber tooth tiger. And then the, the poor fucker never came back, right? Because he died, right? Uh, so <laughs> the poor caveman was like, I'm going to be back, babe, right? Call me if you need anything. And, and, and 
never came back. Never came back. And so, so the kid was like, oh, shit, hunting equals, right? The, the kids, right? The kids, the spouses were like, hunting equals death, baby. You know? F hunting, right? I'm not going to hunt. And, and so anything that is unsafe, it's like, it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. Because it's, it's, it's uncomfortable, right? And so I, I've hammered this, this horse pretty good now. I hope that uh, I hope that that makes any sense. I'm sure I'm pretty sure most people know this, but the thing is that we don't often we don't think about it as artists, right? We think, yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense if you're a business person, but if you're an artist, you're like, no, 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 no. I have artist block. My deal is very different. You don't understand, Jose. My deal is that you know it's it's much more spiritual. No, dude, you don't want to put in the work. It's okay. Accept it. It's all right. Don't kid yourself. Like don't don't look. Everyone's lying to you, around 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 you. Like people are like trying to suppress. You know, I'm not talking about conspiracy theories or anything like that. I'm talking about like like people just don't confront the truth, right? We just don't. Everyone around you is being soft and they're they're being nice and whatnot. You know, and, and don't lie to yourself. You know, this is one of the things that that I started looking into. Like man, I feel like I lie to myself a lot. I think that oh yeah, I'm gonna put in the work and then. Dude, baby, I never put in the work. I was like, I'm going to grow my Instagram. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow my Instagram by 300% next year. And then the year went by and I was like, what happened, dude? What happened? Oh, yeah. I, I see what happened. I didn't put in the work. That's what happened, you know? I'm, I'm talking about my, my own experience on Instagram. <laughs> you know, so, so I, I think that I, I've come to the conclusion, right, in my own life that that we just we don't we don't do the work and it's okay you know it's not it's it's condition it's not it's not because 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 jose is lazy you know i'm i'm a lazy guy no it's it's because i i it's it's human condition and it's okay and this is why there's so many motivators mo, mo, motivators is that what they call uh motivational speakers i think that's the word i i make up words from time to time so just bear with me if i make up a word uh, just use it and, and it'll catch up. <laughs> we'll bring it back. Um, and I think that's why there's so many, you know, uh, Gary V's and, and Grant Cardone's and, and uh, Tony Robbins. And, you know, before it was Zig Ziglar and all these dudes, all, all, all these guys, you know, I, I don't have anything against them. I, I you know, I respect them. I, very cool. But I think that's why we have so many of those cats because... Because they understand, and I don't think that they're doing it maliciously. At least I don't think all of them. But they understand that people don't want to do the work. So, so, so a, a, a lot of a lot of the cats are trying to get you to feel like it's so easy, right? I don't think I don't think the ones I mentioned, by the way, I think those cats are, are they work hard. But there's a lot that that are trying to get you to believe that this shit is easy, and that somehow if you just take the little pill, everything's gonna be fine. And so they, they monetize on that, you know? They're like, you look, it's so easy, you know? And it's because they understand that the vast majority of people that don't want to do the work. They just don't. It's, it's, I, I, look, someone told me a while back how to grow my Instagram account. Do you think that I did it? I mean, years went by. This, I mean, I got into Instagram a little bit late, but not too late, right? And years went by and somebody told me, dude, all you gotta do, this was a cat that knew his, his stuff, right? Is that all you got to do is go to every account possible and start and start engaging with them. And I was like, oh, my God. OK, well, I'm already so busy. Like, what do I have to do? He's like, there is no shortcut. This is what he told me. There is no shortcut. You got to go to every account and spend, I don't know, anywhere between two and four hours a day. He's like, preferably six hours a day. I was like, whoa, this dude's crazy, you know? And, uh, and comment and like and engage with people. And I promise you, you're going to grow exponentially on Instagram. And this was a, this is a cat who knew his stuff. He knows his stuff, right? That's what he does. He's a, he's a, he's a marketing genius. And, and I would... Guess, guess what Jose did? Okay, I'm putting myself on blast here. I'm putting myself on blast. Guess what Jose did? This is what Jose did. Oh, yeah. I just found out how to work Instagram. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to hire a bullshit company 
or, or one of those stupid services that goes and likes people and follows and unfollows people and, and they're going to do it for me because I'm too busy. I'm always painting. I'm a busy guy. You know? <laughs> they're going to do it for me. I don't have to do it myself because, I'm, because I, I, I mean, I'm busy painting, man. Like, I don't have time for that. Who has got time for that? You know, I got time to paint and do other stuff. And so that's what I did, right? I was like, yeah, I'm going to pay someone else to do it. You know, like one of those, one of those uh, cheap uh, services, right? Those monthly cheap services. And, and all they did was nothing. You know, what, what do they do? They do nothing because they're not, it, it's not theirs. They don't care about, they don't care about engaging with Jose Trujillo's friends on Instagram. They, they don't care, right? They, they care about me paying them a couple of bucks a month. And so I didn't do that once. I'm putting myself on blast here, by the way. I didn't do that once. I didn't do that twice. I didn't do that five times. I did that more times. A lot more times. Because I was looking for the right company, man. <laughs> I was like, okay, this one didn't work because that was a shitty company. I'm going to find a better one. And then, I, and then I went and I looked for another one. And then... They didn't do the work, right? The first two weeks, it looks like they're doing the work, and then they, they don't give a shit, right? They're like, yeah, whatever, dude. It's not my business. It's yours. Just pay me. And, and then nothing, right? They're like, it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, it's not my brand I'm trying to grow, right? It's, you're trying to grow your brand. You, you do the work. And, and so, yeah, you know, you, you sow, you reap what you sow. Is that, is, that, is that the saying? So nothing happened. And then now I'm like, oh, man. Like, okay, so what do I do now, right? And you know what I'm doing now? I'm spending two hours a day going and engaging with people. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing what I should have been doing like three years ago or so. I don't know when I joined Instagram. But that, that's what I'm doing now. You know, that, that it, it's just, again, guys, I'm not, I'm not everybody. I'm just telling you my, my, my experience. Uh... I didn't want to do the work. I did not want to do the work. Who does, man? Like, like it's work, right? Who does? Like, I'd much rather do something else, you know? I'd much rather do a painting or, I don't know, like, go out and have a drink. Or, I love brunch. I could have just gone and brunched my way into life. Uh, something else, right? But not, not do the work. Not do the work. Like, who wants to do the work? And so, I, I, I think that's what happens, you know? I think that's what happens. I, I think that's what happens to a lot of artists. Now I'm coaching artists and, I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm encouraging artists to do the work. Like, don't believe there are no shortcuts, guys. Be very careful. Anything that smells like a shortcut is a lie. It's a lie. There are no techniques. There, there are people that have done things and can show you the path. But there are no techniques. Right? There are no techniques. There's strategy. But the strategy, the strategy, please know, okay, the strategy comes with a lot of work. It's not, it's not some ninja stuff, right? Like, like attack during the night. Like, no, it just comes with a lot of work. There are strategies. I, I use them. I teach them. Uh, but, but, but they're filled with work. Right? They're, they're like... They're like four hours a day on Instagram. And, you know, like that's a strategy, right? <laughs> but it is, right? And, and most people are like, nah, thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to go find the right company. Or I'm going to go uh, have my niece do Instagram for me because she knows all about, I don't know, uh, Insta stories. Or my son's going to do it. Yeah. And it's like, nope. It, there are no shortcuts, baby. There just there are no. It, it doesn't exist. It is a lie. Look at this, man. Look at this buffalo. Boom, baby. Mucho bueno. Let me wave at some people here. And so part of my part of my thing that I do here is show up every day, multiple times a day, and and share my content. You no, know, what I'm doing here is my content. Uh, just share my content and and. More than anything, I'm really reminding people to show up. Really, this, the magic sauce isn't showing up. Uh, most people don't, don't know that. Please, please don't tell someone else. 
I charge three hundred dollars an hour to say this to people. Uh, don't don't let it go viral. <laughs> but that's really what it is. You know, it's just showing up. It is. It, it literally is the magic sauce. It's showing up. One of the things that I uh, that I'm going to work on in the next maybe the next uh, six months or so is develop a, a, a what do they call this an accountability an accountability program uh, where where we have artists including myself uh, showing up and reminding people that are really taking it serious right daily to show up you know show up baby just show up you know put your big boy pants on and fucking show up right just do it and nobody wants to hear that because everybody wants it easy. We all we all want it easy, right? But no, you got you got to show up, baby. You know you got to show up. That's that's if if there's magic, if there's a magic sauce, it's that one. And 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 uh, and show up consistently and persistently, and especially when you're getting your ass kicked. Show up even more, you know. Like when you're when when they're when they're grabbing you by the hair and punching you in the nose, keep getting up. They're gonna get tired. They're gonna get tired, right? Uh, metaphor, metaphorically speaking, they're gonna get tired. Life, life can only punch you so much before you develop that strength, and you start kicking back. You know, uh, you literally start punching back and kicking, and and you do it. Effortlessly, it actually happens effortlessly. Because I, I believe that there's a resistance, as as Stephen Spree, as, what's his name, uh, Pressfield, I think, the guy who wrote uh, that book on on uh, procrastination and not showing up uh, uh, as for artists. Uh, I believe that that his talk about the resistance is so true. There there is a resistance. But I, I think that resistance is not, it's not so eloquent, even though it, he makes it sound super, you know, like airy-fairy and beautiful. I don't really think it's that, uh, that complicated. I think we're just, I, as I mentioned right now, I think we're just trying to be, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to be comfortable. And it's okay. Right? It's okay. That's, that's how we survived. Right? That's how we survived winters and shit, right? We're trying to be comfortable. And... Uh, if there is something that I, that you can take away from this, it's not how I mix colors, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not the type of colors that I use or whatever. It's man, just show up, you know. Just do yourself a favor, and and, and show up. Like that day that you feel like, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna vomit. Show up that day. Show up. The day that you're like, man, I just fought with my spouse yesterday. We got into a huge argument. And because I don't have a real job, right? Or whatever. Uh, show up. Show up anyways. Whatever, right? Uh, this is one of those things that people just don't want to hear. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to pay the price of this. I know that, that part, of, part of my message... Because my message doesn't come with sugar. I know that a lot of people reject it. And you know what? I, I don't depend on, on my message... To show up, I show up and then I and then I throw my spiel, right? But I don't depend on my message. And and I, I know some people have told me, some people have warned me before. They're like, dude, just like sugarcoat it a little bit. Don't be so blunt when you talk like that. And and you'll get more people liking you. And honestly, I I don't care if people don't like me. I I honestly don't because because nobody liked, nobody knew what I was doing or my name. And just because I started showing up, my, my career changed. So I, I know that it's tied to me showing up. It's not tied to people liking me. Now, would I like that if I was like the Oprah painter of the world? Of course I would, right? I would love if I was like, I don't know, and, and, you know, the, I don't know the Oprah artist, right? Uh, would, would that be nice? I'm sure that would be really nice. But I, I know that, that all I need all I need is not people to like me. I, I, I'm not. This doesn't mean that I need to be mean or, or like an idiot, but, uh, but it doesn't depend on that. It, it depends on me showing up, and that's what I want to. That's what I want to share with people. You know, it doesn't depend on on your beautiful little paintings, guys, and it doesn't depend on 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 your brush strokes or your whatever. You know, it, it depends on you just picking up the brush. 
when you don't feel like picking it up, as a matter of fact. You know? Karen says, you're honestly, your honesty is refreshing. Thanks so much, Karen. Appreciate that. Someone thinks, someone thinks it's cool. I like that. Thank you. And, and I, you know, I, again, it's, it's just one of those, it's one of those things that, that I've, I've noticed. I've noticed a lot in, in, in artists, and, and I noticed it in my own, right? Especially in my own, in my own career, that every time that I was ready to go do something, I want to, I want to stop. I literally wanted to stop. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go forward with it. And I couldn't. I couldn't tell why. I didn't understand why. I was like, man, why? Why do I want to stop? Things are going well. Why am I trying to stop? Oh, yeah. And then I started realizing, right after after all the session therapy. No, I'm just joking. After all the books and and like you know all the hypnosis that I did, and I'm like, dude, did something's wrong with me. What the hell's wrong with me? You know. <laughs> and, and and one day I just I just Maybe it was all the, maybe it was all the all the time that I spent on it. I don't know, but one day I just kind of woke up, and I shit you not, it just came natural to me. It just came to me. And and the way it came, it was like this, dude. You just don't want to do it. And, and that's it. It just came that way. It's like, dude, just be honest. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do the work. Just be honest. Like, don't name it something. Don't name it our, our artist block. Don't name it, I don't have a big enough studio. Don't name it, I don't have enough staff. Don't, don't put anything on it. Just, just be honest. Dude. Be honest with yourself. You don't fucking want to do the work. And it's okay. But at least if you're honest, you're able, you're able to at least look at what the real problem is. Where is the challenge? As opposed to bullshitting yourself, right? It just came to me one day. And then I was like, ah, I see. I don't want to do the work. I just don't. I don't. And then I, and then I asked my, my, myself this question, right? Why, why don't you want to do the work? This is, this is what you were fighting for. This is what you want, right? Why don't you want to do it? Like, honestly, you know, I had this little conversation in my, in my mind, right? Like, why don't you want to do it? Like, not, not feeling bad or ashamed or upset. No, just ask myself, right? What? Dude, Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Why don't you want to do the work? And then I was like, I don't know. It's, uh, it's uncomfortable. You know, it's uncomfortable. And, and that's when it hit me. I was like, I was like, dude. You're going to let discomfort stop you? Are you literally that fucking weak? You're going to let discomfort stop you? Like it's not it's not that you you your artwork sucks, right? You 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 just nobody's going to buy your artwork. Nobody wants to ever hear from you again. You've been banned from the village, right? No, it's just that it's it's uncomfortable. Right? That's all. It's uncomfortable. And I'm like, oh man, that was easy. Yeah, just be okay. It'll never change. It will always be uncomfortable. Some days you're going to love it. Some days you're not. Some days you're going to, you know, you're, you're just not going to want to paint. But, but some days you're going to love painting. But remember, the next day, the next day doesn't mean... Just because you want to paint or not doesn't mean it's not going to be uncomfortable. So, so what am I fighting really? I'm, fi I'm fighting the discomfort. I'm not fighting me feeling like, oh my God, when I was a kid, you know. No, I I I'm fighting the discomfort. It feels uncomfortable and I'm looking for a way out. And it's okay. I recognize that, that I wanted a way out. And a way out could be Oh man, I don't feel inspired. Or oh man, uh, I'm kind of angry because uh, the government. Or oh man, you know, I'm just not feeling it today because I was driving and and this and that happened. And oh man, you know, or whatever, right? All the bullshit excuses that that we can come up with. And 
honestly, it, it was a liberation for me. It just, it never daunted on me because of my big fat ego. It never daunted on me that I was just uncomfortable. It, it just never daunted on me. I was like, oh no, it can't be that because I'm a hardworking person. It can't be that. It's got to be something else, something supernatural, man. You know, it's got to be something else. Uh, Puppet 3D says, uh, or D3ITY says, I have anxiety over the thought of recognizing, uh, of recognition. Yeah, makes it all more serious. Well, yeah, it, but it's not really. I totally get it, but it's not serious, really. It's not, it, it, it's a game, you know? It's a game, and I've noticed something very interesting. The people that win at any of these games, whether it's a sport or, you know, or, or a business or, or the famous artist or whatever, the people that win at these games are the people that, that can sit with the uncomfortable. They can sit with it. Doesn't mean they like it, but they'll sit with it. Oh, this shit feels super uncomfortable. I'm going to sit here, right? Uh, people that are super brave you know in 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 battle right this is such a guy thing people that are like super brave in battle oh man i could lose my life right now this is super uncomfortable but you know what i'm gonna do it anyways uh people that you know people that go in and entrepreneurs right oh my god literally the word entrepreneurs means a risk taker right oh my god this is super uncomfortable i might just lose everything including you know the the, my mortgage, I mean, my mortgage is my home that I, <laughs> I don't know, that I was like trying to sell to make this business happen or whatever. Oh my God, this is super uncomfortable. All right, whatever, right? It feels, it feels horrible. Uh, I'm going to sit with this because, you know, it doesn't mean that you, you need to make like horrible decisions, but it means that you sit and, and, and you're able to take the pain. The pain, right? The pain, it's uncomfortable. There's a pain related it comes with it the, the pain is the is the door right if it doesn't have pain it doesn't work a pain of some sort it doesn't have to be physical pain pain of some sort right like i want i want beach body abs yeah dude it comes with a lot of pain go for it right it comes with a lot of discomfort and physical very a lot of physical discomfort right oh man i want uh I want to save money. Yep, it comes with a shitload of discomfort, right? You can't buy that bullshit every day. Uh, you're gonna have to, you know, go through a lot of discomfort. Oh man, I want to be an artist that people know everywhere, and you know, I don't know, whatever, like make an impact as an artist. Yeah, it comes with a lot of discomfort. A lot of galleries are gonna tell you, nope, your work sucks. Get out of here. Uh, you know, you're gonna get a lot of no's before you start getting a couple of yeses here and there. You're going to get a lot of no's. Oh, man. Okay. Like anything, right? Anything. Anything. If it's not uncomfortable, I don't... I have zero belief that it works, personally. If it's not uncomfortable. If it's not uncomfortable, why should it work? Why? Tell me. Why should it work if it's not uncomfortable? Everybody would do it. You know, if it wasn't uncomfortable, everybody would, would know how to not just play an instrument, but be a, a master performer. Oh, it's uncomfortable, you know, to be a violinist and put 12 hours a day of practice. That shit seems uncomfortable to me. I don't know to you guys, but to me, it seems like very uncomfortable, right? Especially if you're growing up and you're, you're a young person and you're like, oh man, I need to go out. I need to start dating and have some fun. That seems to be like a lot of discomfort. And, and I, you know, I don't mean to like, I, I don't mean to be like disrespectful with anybody. I totally get it. Not, not, not everybody wants the same thing, but, but if you want something, whatever that is, I, I found it to be uncomfortable. It doesn't matter what it is, you know? Like, oh man, I want to make some sales. Like I, I see artists are always telling me, I want to make some sales. Yeah, it's, it's not going to depend on the thing that it comes easy to you. 
It's, it's going to depend on the uncomfortable stuff, on the stuff that doesn't come easy. It's not going to depend on how beautiful you paint. It's going to depend on you going out of your way, out of your comfort zone, and going into galleries or, or investing your energy into learning a strategy and implementing the strategy and on and on and on. Man, this video is about to be over. I spent an hour talking and painting here with you guys. Three, two, one. Adios. Boom.